Hey guys, in this session we're going to be doing integration by substitution. This is probably um, an easier way to integrate compared to using chain rule in reverse. So if you're struggling a bit um, with chain rule in reverse, do integration by substitution. Okay, so to get started with um, substitution, uh, here's an example. Determine integral of 7x plus 1 cubed dx. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to replace 7x plus 1 with another letter. So the common letter people use for substitution in this case is u. So u is equal to 7x plus 1. And now what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite the, um, the original problem as integral of u cubed dx. Now with integrating u is you can't have dx. So you can't really have dx. You need to change dx to du. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to go back to our original function here, which is u equals 7x plus 1, and we're going to differentiate it. So we're going to find, so if u equals 7x plus 1, we know that du dx is just differentiation of 7x plus 1, which equals 7. Now what we're going to do is we're going to rearrange so that dx is by itself, and we'll have du and everything else on the opposite side. So... I can write du is equal to 7 dx, which means du divided by 7 equals dx. So what I've found is I've actually replaced dx with du divided by 7. And that's what I'm going to do here. So I've got integral of u cubed. So instead of dx, I'm going to have du over 7. And now uh, it's just basic um, integration at this point, because this would be integral of u cubed divided by 7 du and if I integrate this I'm going to get u to the power of 4 divided by 7 times 4 okay so now what we can do is because we know that u is equal to 7x plus 1 we can sub re like substitute it back into u and finish off the function sorry I forgot the plus c there so what we can do is replace the u with 7x plus 1. So your final answer for this would be 7x plus 1 to the power of 4 divided by 28 plus c. And that's how you do integration by substitution. Now you can always uh, differentiate this final answer to see whether you come back to the question. But yeah, that's how you do it. All right, I want to do one more example. Um, this is a problem which has caused a bit of bit of issues, but hopefully with substitution, it, you can kind of see the um, answer a lot more clearer. And the problem is this. Determine integral of 1 over x times ln of x. Now, this is something that we talked about earlier. 1 over x is the differentiation of ln of x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put u as ln of x, which means du over dx would equal 1 over x. And remember, this is the important part. You have to differentiate u and then resubstitute dx with du. So I'm going to put x du is equal to dx, just rearranging everything here. All right, so let's go back to the original question. And I'm going to split it up just to make things a bit easier here. So I've got 1 over x multiplied by 1 over ln of x dx. 1 over x, I'm going to leave it as it is. But 1 over ln of x, I'm going to rewrite it as 1 over u. And dx, which is right here, which is x du. So I'm going to write, instead of dx, I'm going to write it as x du. So simplifying this. I'm going to have integral of, I've got x in the numerator, and in the denominator, I have x u. Of course, don't forget du. Now you can see the two x's cancelling out each other, which means I'm left with integral of 1 over u du. Now, once again, this is basic, basic integration. 1 over u is going to give us ln of u plus c. But, we know that u is equal to ln of x, which means we resubstitute u back 
So in this case, it's going to look like ln of ln of x plus c. So as you can see, a complicated problem like this at the top there, um, if you use substitution, uh, it actually works out really nicely, and that's that's the beauty of this thing right here. All right, guys, um, that's all I have for integration of subst by substitution. Uh, thank you for watching.